Hello everyone, this is Victor Fitzgerald. What I'm going to be doing in this video is walking you through the Profile Manager, uh, which is a service that we just activated on our Apple server that allows you to manage and configure remote devices, um, including a wide range of services and settings. So it is a very powerful program that you're going to want to make sure that you understand so that you can control a wide range of student activities. Now that being said, in the last video I kind of showed some basic settings um, once you have the web page turned on for your server, it's going to direct you by default to this page when you access it. I find it a little bit easier that way to just access from this site. Now, you can turn on other features if you would like, like your own built-in wiki and things like that. You can add your own web page, um, but I basically just use this as a landing page. And then I select Profile Manager to log into our profiles. So I'm going to go ahead and just switch over now to our Profile Manager, which I've already signed into. Once you're signed into your Profile Manager, um, you're going to need to get very quickly acquainted with everything that's going on. So the first thing we're going to do is run through the basic navigation. On the left-hand side, you're going to see a wide range of links. Okay, So these links cover a lot of different things, which apps you have loaded into your system, which books you have loaded. Um, all the devices that you currently have enrolled, uh, what the device groups are. Um, device groups are great because you can change settings for a bunch of devices in one click. Um, then we have users and we have groups. Now the users and groups help dictate who is an admin within your, your MDM configuration and who is not. Um, you can also assign specific settings to each uh, user if you would like. Uh, I find it easier just to have one user with a pretty robust password so that we can access anything from that one account. Now the other things you're going to notice are these active tasks, which is all of the settings being pushed out to specific devices at this given time, and any completed tasks. So you can actually see everything that's been done before. Then we're going to get into things called enrollment profiles. And enrollment profiles help you to uh, connect devices to the MDM server as you're going. And what you're going to need is you're going to need two things. One is this enrollment profile. So we have this MacBook profile here that we would download with that button. And the second thing you're going to need is a trust profile, which you can access by clicking the admin button at the top of here and clicking download trust profile. Those two profiles will save to your computer and system preferences will actually automatically boot up if it doesn't, if you just double click on that file, System Preferences will load you into the Certificate Pathway, uh, which will ask you if you are willing to connect to the server and be managed by it. Um, you have to go through that step on every device. When we do this in imaging on MacBooks, uh, we do it with an administrative account already, so it automatically enrolls the devices. And the same on the iPads, since we use Configurator to configure those as we deploy them. If you have to manually do it though, you will need the administrative password on that computer, as well as those two profiles. Now once you're in here, I'm just going to walk you through what we can get for each information, or for each device. This is an iPad that we have in the, in the system. We can view all of the details on that iPad, you know, MAC address, things like that, available storage, so how much storage those students still have left over. Um, we can look at their security settings. We can see any restrictions that are installed on that app, and we can also see all of the apps installed on that student's device. Um, so that alone is pretty worthwhile. Then what you need to think about is that the MDM Profile Manager pushes everything out in terms of a profile configuration. So you can install multiple ones for each device. So for example, if I wanted to set restrictions on I, first grade iPad grade 2, I would just go into the settings and change the settings on that individual device. I can also add apps to that device by clicking on the apps tab. Same with books um, and adding those to that iPad. Now where things actually come in handy is within the device groups. So let's say I have first grade iPads that have 20, app, or 20 members in it, 20 member devices. Okay, so these are all of our first grade iPads. What I can do is actually assign apps to the whole group, which will push them out and let them install on every 
every device within that group. So we'll use that during the configurator, put them in the right groups, and push those settings out so that they download all of the apps available. Then we also configure settings. So you'll notice the settings on this one are a little bit different. And the reason for that is because we actually will engage several um, security features along the way. So we actually will push a profile out to all of the devices. We also configure our new network interfaces and our actually uh, student or teacher interfaces through this. Um, and we also load a restrictions payload. And that payload varies. Uh, it depends on what the teachers and the administrators have asked for in each grade level and each school. The next thing we actually look at is this content filter. Uh, we have on our first grade students and our, our uh, most of our students built in a content filter that blocks adult content automatically. We can also blacklist some URLs if we would like. So if we find that our students are spending too much time on specific websites, we can block those from within the iOS filter settings. Now, that being said, we have different settings that we can configure for a MacBook. So I'm going to just kind of walk you through that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a MacBook here. Uh, let's go with the fifth grade MacBooks, uh, which actually don't have any settings, as you'll notice. Um, and our sixth grade also does not. And the reason why is because we actually have larger groups that encompass multiple grade levels. So if I look at my sixth through eighth grade MacBooks, those members are the 6th grade, 7th grade, 8th grade, and actually the 5th grade MacBooks because um, they have the same settings. Then I can go in and restrict those settings as well. So I'm going to go ahead and edit to just kind of show you what things are. Um, I like to configure a login window change so that we can just very quickly see that that computer is in our MDM or not. You can change a lot of other options like dock configurations, you can set parental controls if you want remotely, which is a great idea. Um, you can also add restrictions. So this restriction set will block which um, apps and kind of content that, te that the students can access. We can also in the media kind of force which things the students can access as well. So there's a wide range of settings that you can actually set for each student. Um, that being said, that is the basics of the MDM. You've got to kind of play around with each of the settings, get it configured the way that you would like, make sure that you have access to the trust profile and the enrollment profiles, um, and then you'll be able to add anything you would like. The only caveat to that is um, adding apps. So if you want to add an app to the system, you have to go ahead and just click the plus button here and navigate to an app that you have downloaded on the computer. Uh, so you're going to want to make sure that you have access to apps as you log into the system. If you have any questions about kind of the basic configuration of the profile manager or how you're going to manage that for services outside of the U.S. where those volume purchasing plans and things like that don't come into effect, uh, please feel free to reach out to me directly or leave a comment on this video. Thanks for, for tuning in.